Okay, your college, your you, you know, going to college was a lot different scenario than mine. Obviously, <laughs> you did. That was your fault. Well, that was your you fault. Did. But go, but go ahead. <laughs> you did well in school. Yeah. Not so much. I wanted to fool around. You know, I was a class clown, and, and so yeah. my experience of, of getting into college and doing that was a lot different than yours. Tell the people about the conversation and what you told me when you left the university and you came back home and you sat me down and what'd you tell me? Which part about the, the time when you weren't going to go to Savannah State, when you thought your abilities was bigger than Savannah State? And I was like, yeah, oh, no. that And no. I was going to go to the military. You were going to go to the Army. Yeah. I, and it was just, you know, the thing was, is I was like, a lot of your life, most of your life or all of your life had been watching those of us in front of you. And uh, it was, and I tell people, I said, you know, I didn't realize I was older than my brother until it was time for me to go to college. Because then it was like, oh my God, you, you got three more years of high school? Really? You know, so it, it, it's like, but the thing was, is I didn't want to father you. I wanted you to be like, look, trust me, if you go to Savannah State and you stay there for a year, get your, do what you're supposed to do. I will do everything in my power to get you over at University of South Carolina with me because I knew what kind of person you were. I knew what your work ethic could be. I just knew that you were afraid to be different at the time because you had to be the class clown because that was your way in because you weren't the best looking dude in high school. So you weren't <laughs> going to get a whole lot of dates. So you had to, you figured out your way to get in was to be fun. The problem was is you were trying to be funny all the time. And so when the test was handed out, you were being funny and making some unfunny Fs. <laughs> so, so I just wanted you, I, I knew what kind of person you were and what kind of work ethic you had. So, but I just didn't want to, I, 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 I didn't want to word you to death. I wanted you to be like, look, this is still your life. I will help you, but I want you to understand this is still your life. So I go to Savannah State. Mm -hmm. Things go okay. And Things we have a conversation um, after my sophomore year. Yes. I had an All American. I'm a player, I'm a conference player of the year. I'm all this. I'm black college All American. I'm on the map. And I like, man, I want to go to the University of Miami. And uh -huh. you tell me, nah. No. They didn't want you. A they year didn't ago. want you when they had a chance to get you for nothing. Right. And now you done put this blood, sweat, and tears in Bill Davis' system, and you on the map. And now all of a sudden, what did you prove to him you could play? What did you do that was different? You didn't do anything except for you got the opportunity and you took advantages of the opportunities you were given. Be like, no, hey, the NFL, you can, you can stay here. The NFL will find you. And when they found you. They, they, they found me. Now, I mean, you made it you made, made it very conducive for me to stay because you say I got a little package for you, but you need to come get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you know, where I was driving a pickup truck when I was in school, my little brother drove a Mercedes 300E with 18-inch chrome wheels and a whale tail on the back. But uh, that, that was the first one. What was the first? What was the first car you got me on my sophomore year? The blue, the blue three hundred ZX. Yeah, yeah, ZX. yeah. I was cool. Uh, I was cool. You know where I was wearing my South Carolina University of South Carolina football sweats to class. My brother was wearing Izod shirts with the matching red socks with the dock side of shoes. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And the creased blue jeans because I, you know what? I, I, and I, I said this. Uh, at my, my college speeches that I always, you know, early on, I played for an audience of one. And I said, you know, everything that I did in football, I wasn't trying to impress anybody. There's one guy who knew what I was capable of, and I was trying to do that to show, to show him. And I say, I've only been yelled at in athletics one time. I've only had a coach tell me I wasn't performing one time. And they go, who was it? And I go, my brother. I said, we were playing Southeast Bullet. We'd never beaten them. I'm the starting quarterback. Uh, I got Devin Durrance as my, my tailback. I got Pat Lewis on my right. And you came up to the fence and said, hey, man, what are you doing? You, you scared? You know, you, got, you, you ain't playing like you're supposed to play. was the only time I've ever been talked to about my performance on the field. And I was like, hey, from that moment on, that's never going to happen to me again, only because, of course I know better. 
of course I understand who I was uh, being a quarterback at, at Glenville High School and being the type leader I wanted to be. But to have your younger brother come over and tell you, not a coach, not a teammate, somebody standing outside the fence, come over to the fence and tell you, look, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do was very eye-opening and convincing in helping me in my athletic career. So I thank you for that. Did, appreciate that. Did you think that once you went to the league, okay, I'm a junior, you're in the league, you're a first round draft pick. Did you think that, you know what, I wonder if he's going to slack off now. Is he still going to be as hungry now that we that I've made it, we've made it, because it was always we. It was never you. It was never me. It was we. Did you no. worry about me slacking off, not doing what I was going, what I was capable of doing now that I felt that we've had success? Uh, no, because you were always the person that was like, okay, let me see it. Let me understand it. Let me get it. Now let me exceed what you have done with it. So whatever I did, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever I did, I always knew that you were like, let me learn how to do it. Okay, let me try it. Okay, let me put my spin on it. Okay, now let me do it better than you. So I always knew that whatever I did, you were going to try or you were going to attempt to do it better than I did. So no, I never worried about once, once, once I got you to Savannah State, I was done. I, I was like, this is going to be easy because once I got you to Savannah State, and then once I showed you how we work out, once I showed you how we condition, once I showed you how we watch film, once I talked to you about this is what I see, it was done. Because I was like, okay, he's going to get it. He's going to learn it. And then once he puts his spin on it, he's going to do it better than I did it. I mean, here I am, an All-American, and doing all these wonderful things at the University of South Carolina, and then all of a sudden – they got a guy at Savannah State who's averaging scoring a touchdown every three catches. You go, wait a minute. How do you score a touchdown every three catches? And then I went and watched you guys play Savannah State, and I think the score was like 98, 96. But I, I'm like, this dude's running up and down the field. So I, I just – I never really concerned myself. The biggest scare or fear factor I had pertaining to you was before – when you were like, I'm not going to Savannah State. Because at that moment, I was like, okay, he he's he's embarrassed. He is he's broken. He's embarrassed. He's humbled. And all I know is, is if I if I can if I can convince him to go. And I, it wasn't a convincing. I knew if I said go, you were gonna go. If I said yeah, go to the army, you were gonna go to the army. If I just said guess what, we're gonna sell drugs, you would have sold drugs. I just thought that we were connected that way. So it was an opportunity for me to go. Let's hold off on the army. Let's go to Savannah State and see what happens. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.